Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the electrical guide. Today, I want to show you how to strip number eight AWG. Now, number eight is the first size that you're going to always find in stranded. I know that the ground is still solid, but the conductors that carry currents are going to be stranded. So you might be tempted to want to use your strippers but your strippers actually bottom out at size 10 solid and size 12 stranded AWG. So we can't really use the preset holes to strip number eight. So firstly, I've cut off some of the exterior just with my knife here. And there's a couple ways to go about doing this. The first way I think is the easiest way is to use your knife. Now, once I strip this number eight, I'm going to put it onto a stove receptacle. So just like with most things, there are little strip gauges here right on the back. Just a bit of a strip gauge. Or you can actually put them into the hole and kind of mark how much to strip. See, I've already raised all these screws up so that I'm actually able to size it like so. So like I said, the first size with your knife. Mark your spot. You're just gonna rotate around that spot. Don't push too hard because you're gonna score the stranded conductors underneath. Once you've done a full circle, you can drag your blade along the edge. Be very careful not to cut your hand, of course. Now you can use your knife to push this off or you can use something like strippers to just kind of grab the edge and just pull it off like that. The second way that you can strip this is perhaps with a little more finesse, and that's actually using your strippers. And you're gonna give just kind of gentle pressure, treating the blades in here as if they were kind of a, a knife on all sides. And you're gonna give gentle pressure and rotate it around like that. And you're just gonna push it off the same way that you might if you were using one of the preset holes. Once all of your wires are stripped, you're gonna put them underneath your terminals on the back of your range or stove receptacle. Now this one, you can tell which way is the ground because the U-shape opening is pointing this way and the other three openings are pointing away. And if we follow this side around, you'll indeed see it is the ground. So in good practice, we wanna terminate the ground, then the neutral, then the 120 volt conductors. Now, if you look very carefully on the back of this, you can see that there's written green, white, X, and Y. The X and Ys are where you're gonna put your 120 volt conductors, your red and your black. Of course, the white is your neutral, and the green in this case will be your ground. So, I'm gonna terminate our ground first. I've already loosened these screws. I'm gonna push it under and give firm pressure. I'm gonna use my red number two Robertson here to just kind of hand tight, don't reef on it. If you wanna use the finger technique as tight as you can go with your fingers. After that, you're gonna to wanna to do your neutral side. And I'm only leaving, you only just wanna see that you're not grabbing the insulation when you tighten the screw down. And I'm just using my fingertips to tighten this nice and snug. And then it doesn't matter which of the X and Y you want to use. The black can be X or the black can be Y. It doesn't really matter. Each one is providing 120 volts. This receptacle does not discriminate with color. So your last one might be a bit of a battle to get underneath. It's going to push it under. You're going to give it a little pressure there with your hand. You're going to tighten this guy down. And your conductors are terminated. Notice again, the opening for the U for the ground is facing opposite of the other three. And when we mount this receptacle on our four and 11 16th box, we always wanna mount it sideways with the ground and the neutral at the same height. So whether it's this way or this way, it doesn't matter. The ground and neutral will still be the same height when you mount it. And uh, we want to mount it a maximum of 13 centimeters to center from the finished floor. Now I just want to hold up a dryer receptacle. 
the back actually is the exact same. And the terminating style is the exact same. And there's a strip gauge on this and it shows you the X, Y and the white and the green labels on the back in case you forget. The only difference is that the neutral on this is an L shape. Now I, I like to remember it by saying L is laundry and S is straight for stove, laundry, stove. And if you ever really want to get some extra clarification, you can check the rating. This is a 14 dash 30 R dry receptacle. And this is a 14 dash 50 R stove or range receptacle. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe.